hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome i'm jumping into today's video with a poly gel removal these were my graduation nails which was about four weeks ago i did a v cut french these were only on for a week and a half but content needs to be made and honestly i'm up for a fresh set i have done a poly gel removal on my channel before if you'd like more in-depth instructions on that feel free to tap the video on the top right corner but right now i am cutting my nails short to begin the removal process this just makes things a lot easier when we start debulking. I am using a ceramic carbide bit. I really like this for poly gel removals because it really just cuts through it like butter. I usually just get my nails as thin as possible without getting down to the natural nail. So as you can see, I got these pretty thin. From here, I'm usually gonna soak off with acetone or warm water just to loosen the nail glue. Now that I have these popped off, I will be doing some nail prep. My cuticles haven't been touched in a while, so I am gonna just push them back just a tiny bit. I'm then gonna take this cuticle flame bit just to go around my cuticles to further push them back. And I'm also making sure I'm holding the file parallel to my natural nail and not at an angle. I'm also barely adding any pressure. You wanna be very gentle during this step and not to create a ridge in your natural nail or a dent.
I don't think I've ever showed you guys trimming my cuticles on camera and I feel like I was scared to show that at first because I didn't want anyone to hurt themselves if they were following along to this video but I'm a lot more comfortable showing you how I do it now. So I do need to clean up my natural nail plate up a little bit. I'll be taking this Melody Susie mandrel bit just to go over my natural nail plate and a bit over my cuticle again. I really have this on a low speed and I'm barely adding any pressure. I'm also making sure I'm removing any residual poly gel or nail glue. Now I'm creating a peel off base coat. This just makes it a lot easier for me since I do content creation all the time and I constantly change nail sets. So this is just more convenient for me. I am taking a little bit of cuticle oil on my natural nail and I'll follow that up with a top coat that is dedicated for all of my peel off base coats. I will be applying this on my nail and cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. So this is how I glue on my tips with the peel off base coat method. I like to have a gel X lamp and some base coat and this just helps me adhere the nail tips onto the nail. I went ahead and trimmed my nails pretty short today because you guys have been asking for more short nail content and I just want to incorporate that more into my content. After I was done blending the tip with a natural nail, I will be applying base coat on the entire nail and I'll be curing this in the lamp for 30 seconds.
for today's poly gel, I'm using a milky white poly gel from Rosalind and for slip solution, I'm using isopropyl alcohol. I wanted a soft milky white monochrome French today to kind of start off some short spring nails, even though this isn't, isn't really spring-esque at all. I've been seeing so many short sets of this color and I just felt inspired to do these. For shorter poly gel nails, you honestly don't need too big of a bead. I'm just going to place a decent sized amount on my nail and kind of spread that around. Once I'm done with the shaping, I am going to cure this in the lamp for 90 seconds. This poly gel does ask for you to cure for 90 seconds and as I always say, follow the instructions on every poly gel bottle. So here's how my application is looking. We do need to remove the sticky layer from the poly gel by wiping it off with some alcohol.
So here how my nails are looking shaped and filed. I do like to go ahead and do that last step and kind of remove all of the nail file debris or anything that might be there with a brush and some alcohol. And this just helps that we have a clean slate for gel art. So I am doing a short French tip. I'm trying out this Macar nail liner. I've had this for a while. I just never touched it or picked it up and I'm not honestly not entirely sure why. So I'm going to use this today. It was kind of hard because I am used to nail art brushes over these type of gel liners, but I kind of got the hang of it after a while. So here how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.